This is Professor Melanie Hildebrandt. I'm going to work a problem from Chapter 10 um, that hopefully will show you all how to calculate uh, which method is most economically efficient. Um, this is taken from Problem 3 on page 244 of Edition 12. This is also part of Study Plan 10.2 in my Econ Lab. Um, I'm just going to work one part of this problem and then you can follow up and hopefully um, do the other calculations on your own. So we're given a chart in, in problem number three with four different ways that we could clean 100 shirts. So we could use a combination of labor, so that's going to be, uh, we're going to pay an hourly wage, or we could use some capital, some actual machines. So you can see there we have uh, option A, one hour of labor, 10 machines, B, five hours of labor, eight machines, and then you can see um, the options for C and D. The wages are also, or the, the cost are also given for our labor and capital. So for our labor, we'll pay a wage rate of $1 per hour, and for our washing machines, we pay a rental rate of $100 per hour for the capital. So in order to determine economic efficiency, we're first gonna have to calculate total cost. And the total cost for each option is simply going to be the quantity of labor times our wage, which again is a dollar, plus the quantity of capital or machines that we use, plus the rental rate, which again is $100 per hour. So I'm going to make a new column up here that says total cost. Okay. So for option A, we would have quantity of labor, one, times a wage of a dollar per hour, or one, plus quantity of capital, 10, times the rental rate of $100 per hour. And so 10 times 100 is 1,000 plus one would give us a total cost of $1,001. Okay, and so we're going to do the same thing for B, and we would find that we have our quantity of five times our wage rate of one, which is five, and then we would take the quantity of machines of eight times the rental rate of 100 to give us 800, and our total cost for option B would be $805. Hopefully y'all can see that. All right, same thing for C. Now our quantity of labor is 20 times that wage rate of a dollar or 20. And then the quantity of machines is four times that rental rate of 100 for 400. And so our cost here for option C is $420. Okay, so we're getting more efficient as we move down. Let's look at option D now with 50 hours of labor times the dollar rate is $50, and then the one machine times $100. For $100, 100 plus 50 would give us a total cost of $150. And so option D is the most economically efficient if our wage is a dollar per hour and the rental rate for capital is 100 per hour. In the study plan and in this question, you can also work uh, another part where the wage increases to five and the rental rate drops to 50. And so please try to work that on your own in my econ lab.